Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Candy, and today we're talking what's new and what's next, Eloquy Spring 2020. So if you are a subscriber to this channel, you already know my love for Eloquy. They are a fashion-forward, plus-size brand that brings us hot pieces every season. And I am so excited to say that this video is in partnership with Eloquy, and I am about to bring you guys a massive spring haul. So you may want to grab a snack or a glass of wine and let's get into this fashion. So the first look I'm sharing with you is one of my top three and it's mostly because I'm so in love with these freaking leather shorts. So if you have any eloquent leather pieces you already know they do leather like no one else okay. It is so soft and they, it looks so real and the fit is always perfect. Now, I ordered these shorts in a size 18, which is my true size, and I love them. What I will say is if you own the leather pants that came out in fall, they're cut very similar, a little less oversized, but along the same line. So if you, whatever size you ordered in those pants, I would definitely suggest ordering the same in the shorts. They do come with a removable belt, but I think for this look, it just looks cleaner to have that paper bag waist that they do at the top. And I love the fact that they decided to do a mid-thigh length. So these are not super short, but they're not long either. So they're like the perfect classic short length. I decided to pair it with what I think is an essential for spring, this amazing camel colored blazer. I absolutely love the color of this blazer. I just think it's one of those pieces that's super easy. You could throw it on with pretty much anything and it's going to look great. And it's perfectly on trend because if you watch my last video, then you already know spring 2020 is all about suits. And lastly, for this look, I went with a simple button down. Now, one trick I will tell you that I love when wearing a button down, especially in a more casual setting is I like to leave it unbuttoned and just simply tuck the shirt in so you can kind of like do like a faux wrap almost with your button downs depending on the sizing um, and then you could just button like one or two buttons down in the inside to make sure it doesn't completely pop open but it's just a really nice way to take a button down dress it down a little bit but at the same time still have that clean crisp look now this particular button down i love because it's a little bit sheer it's not a very heavy material which is nice especially as we move into warmer temperatures so if you're like me and you love knowing what's new and what's next fashion beauty and travel go ahead and click that subscribe button become a part of my crew i would love to have you and as always everything that i mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box below next up is this classic faux wrap maxi dress. Now, Eloquy releases this dress in so many patterns. It's literally a staple on their website. I thought the leopard was perfect for spring just because it's a really fun pattern, but at the same time, it's very classic. One of the things I love about this dress is the length. So I'm 5'2", and it literally comes to the floor on me, but I think it is so sexy just the way it drapes and it hangs all the way to the floor. They did include a slit on the dress, which is really sexy, and it also at the same time kind of breaks up the shape of the dress, which I think is really nice as well. This dress is going to be one of those pieces that you could transition into any season. So this is going to be perfect for spring paired with a pair of pumps going into summer. Obviously, you can throw this on with a pair of sandals and it's going to be great. Moving back into fall, this is going to be so sexy with a pair of knee-high boots. And obviously, for winter, you could layer it with a pair of tights and a cute pair of booties and this will be perfect. So I think this is one of those pieces that you could, again, wear at any point any season the leopard never goes out of style and the fit on these are so nice it comes with a belt and it is a full wrap it does have like a little closure here to make sure that it doesn't pop open but as you can see it's a little bit low cut so you could always pair this with a camisole if you wanted to do a little less chest i love the fact that they do a balloon sleeve on this one so when ordering this dress i think you have a lot of flexibility i ordered this one in a size 16 which is my normal top size um I have larger arms, so that's always a concern for me. What is it gonna fit like on my arms? And with this particular dress, I never have any issues. Okay, so next up is what I would call a classic Candace look. If you know me, I am a huge fan of smock dresses. I just love the fact that I can throw a dress on and it kind of glides over my body, but it's not fitted. It's very fun and flirty. This particular dress, I saw on Eloquise website and I was like, I have to have that. It's so 
fun. It's just super flirty. I love the fact that they did it in polka dot, polka dot because for spring 2020 polka dots are the pattern of the season. So this is like perfectly again in trend, but when are polka dots not in trend is really the question. So I did decide to size down on the dress because I wanted the length to be a little bit shorter. Now in doing that, I will say that the top doesn't necessarily fit as low as it would traditionally, but I'm okay with that. In mind when you see the dress on me is that I size down to a size 14 in the dress where I normally would have gotten a size 16 and I decided to pair it with this moto now getting back to faux leather from Eloquii another thing that they do exceptionally well is this moto jacket and if you have ever been on the Eloquii website then you already know this particular moto jacket comes in so many colors and patterns I showed you guys the red one for fall and I loved it so when I went to make this order I thought again, instead of getting a traditional black blazer, why not go and have a little fun and find a color that would be perfect for spring? And this pink is absolutely beautiful. Now, when ordering the moto, I sized up. So on the moto, I'm wearing a size 18, 20, and I suggest doing that, especially because it's a piece that you may want to layer on top of other things. So it'll give you a little bit of room. Um, obviously, as a blogger, I just throw it over my shoulder. <laughs> But yeah, so as you can see, it does fit, it zips up. So I am a triple D and sometimes zipping up the jacket is a concern as far as sizing. So what I will say in the 1820, I have plenty of room for layers underneath. So for the next look, I'm actually gonna share with you my least favorite and my favorite piece from the haul. So drop a comment down right now, what piece do you think is my favorite and which one do you think is my least favorite from this outfit? So I love the material of this shirt. I actually really love these balloon sleeves, like they did like a double ballooning and I just think that's really fun. The, my biggest issue with the shirt is the fact that it's supposed to be off the shoulders but because it has um, such a tight band on it it's really difficult to get it to go off the shoulders and to get it to stay off the shoulders so whenever I want it to be off the shoulders I have to have someone else pull it down for me and it constantly just rolls up so it has literally become kind of like a u-neck on me and that wasn't really the thought but it's not bad like it's a super cute top either way so that's the top and I ordered it in a size 16 which is my true top in size so maybe if you want it to be off the shoulders it may be better to order a size up um, just knowing that you're gonna get a more exaggerated sleeve and maybe a little bit extra material it might come down a little bit lower and that's the funny part is that the crop on the bottom is perfect it's long enough that you can wear it more in a traditional fashion but at the same time it's not too much material that if you wanted to show a little squint skin you could so this shirt and I just are in a love-hate relationship so Eloquy released these jeans in a darker wash last season for fall and other bloggers were wearing them and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Like I love them. I love that extreme bell bottom. But being more on the petite side, I was very concerned that when I ordered the jeans, they were not going to fit properly. I assumed that they would be too long and if you've ever altered like bell bottoms or wide leg pants, you know it can sometimes be a complete disaster. So I was very, very hesitant to order them. Well, Eloquii rolled them out in this lighter wash and I was like, girl, for spring, you have to try and see. So fingers crossed, I ordered them in a size 18 and they fit perfect. I love these jeans, guys. They fit so good. I don't get any gapping in the back, which is great, especially being a curvier girl. It's always a concern. But as you can see, there's no gapping in the back. They fit really good on the hips. Okay, ladies, I know it's only March, but is it too early to talk swimsuits? Because Eloquii just rolled out their swimsuit collection and it is hot. And if I'm keeping it real, I'm a huge fan of a two-piece bathing suit, but it is something about a classic one-piece with a twist that just does it for me. And this leopard is exactly that. So I love the fact that they decided to give you the option to wear it with or without straps. So these straps are removable. Um, I'm wearing a size 18, by the way. Now, they did decide to do this in a more cheeky version. So it's going to sit a little bit higher on the hips, which is nice because it just makes you look like you have longer legs, especially for us short girls. And on the back, 
as you can see, it's a little bit higher cut than your traditional one piece would be, but I think that's really nice. It's just a little extra sexy. So for the ladies who don't prefer a full two piece, I think this is a great way to show skin, but at the same time be comfortable in the one piece. I would not suggest sizing down on this one, which sometimes is the case with bathing suits, because of the fact that it already has the cheeky bottom. So if you size down, you may run into issues where the bottom, you know, doesn't give you the coverage you might need. So just keep that in mind when you order this one. I would probably suggest going true to size. If you guys are ready for swimwear, let me know down in the comments and I will get a full swimsuit haul prepared. I actually really love these pants. However, I will warn you, if you pick them up, you may want to size down. So let's get into the look. So what I will say is I ordered them in size 18 and I wish I had gotten a 16 because they are a bit big. Like they are a bit baggy, especially like in the thigh part. And I think it's mostly because they use a stretch denim. Um, they don't look bad on, but I think had I gotten them in a size 16, it would have looked a little bit cleaner, a little bit better of a fit. I think if you have thicker thighs, you may really love these and want to order them true to size or if you need a little bit more room in your belly you may also want to order these uh true to size because it's going to give you that flexibility either way fit aside these are so cute in person i love the fact that they did kind of like a sherbet pink which is really nice it's like a way of making it very bubbly but at the same time it's not like over the top or this waistband it's just so nice like I love the fact that it's super chic it's very trendy very fun and you could pair this with a lot of different things so I decided to just pair it with my essential crop top as you can see it does come with a matching belt you could always take that off I'm very big on removing matchy belts and adding something different like I think this would look so fabulous with like a leopard belt would be super cute and so I'm just going to show you guys this with my leopard belt which I think is so fun so look at the difference that you get is a really good way to kind of break it up and add a little fun to this look okay I want to check on you how you guys doing okay I know this is a long haul I forewarned you let me know down in the comments do you prefer when I do maybe like four or five looks or do you prefer these really big hauls where I'm showing you a bunch of pieces at the same time let me know. That way I can tailor things more to what you guys want to see. And if you haven't already, press that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? We're waiting on you. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Become a part of my crew. Let's get back into the fashion. I have a few more looks to share with you. So the next look I know is going to be one of those on repeat for spring summer looks for me because I have already worn these jeans like three times. I love them. So let me get into it. So this is a pullover blouse, so there's no buttons. Um, I did order it in a size 16. What I will say is it fits a little snug on the arms. There's This is a non-stretch material, which the website did say that. If you're like me and you have hips and butt, then you already know the struggle to find mom jeans that fit properly. And what I will say is this is the closest to perfect that I've ever found in a straight leg jean, okay? I know that's a very tall order, but it's so true. So I love these classic mom jeans. They are so freaking comfortable. And I'm like, all these years I've been missing out. Now I ordered these in a size 18. And what I will say is when I first got them, they wore a little snug around the hips and butt. And you, as you can see, they're still like a little fitted here. Like you can tell there's a little like tightness in there but what i will say is as you wear them they loosen up which is amazing and they fit so good i love these now they are crop length so they are a little short but not overly short again i'm five two so if you're a little bit taller then they may come a little bit higher up on the ankle i just love the fact that they're a straight leg jean i'm gonna pop a picture in so that you guys can see the full length and um, fit of these jeans but this has been my favorite outfit i actually paired this with that pink bomber and it's such a cute like fun trendy outfit and also i love the fact that this is a light denim and a light distressed denim which is a spring staple so this is again another outfit that will just be on repeat in my closet and I just want to show you guys that obviously there is gapping in the back, but that's just because these are a straight leg pant. So these are not necessarily designed for a curvy body type. This is definitely more of a straighter body type, but that's the design of the jeans. And I think Eloquii executed them perfectly. 
So as some of you guys know, I moved from Florida to Chicago, which means I actually get seasons, and I'm starting to build my coat collection. So the next piece I grabbed, I think is perfect for that transitional spring to summer. So this trench is so freaking cute. It's super chic. I love that they did it in this beautiful classic white. I don't know about you, but it's always challenging to find white outerwear. So I saw this one on the website and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that trench. It's super cute. This bell sleeve and like how they did the little cuff detail. It's just really fun and flirty. And the lapel, I don't know if you guys will notice it, but the lapel has... On this side, it has like a traditional little flap, and then on this side, it's not, which I think is another just fun little like quirky detail. Like it just gives it that, oh wait, let me see that again. The length on this trench coat is perfect. It comes about mid-thigh. It's a very lightweight layer, so this is not something that you're gonna put on to keep you warm, but it is something you could throw over your shoulders on a cooler night and just kind of have it. I think it also pairs really well with dresses, I love this look with the pair of jeans that I have on now. It's just really nice. So I think this is definitely one of those pieces that falls into the more fashion over function. But sometimes you need those pieces just to have a little fun with your wardrobe. Uh, it does have pockets. And again, this is a removable belt. So you could always pair it with a really nice chunky belt if you wanted to. Or you could wear it without a belt. It would be fabulous as well. So I love this trench. I just think it's a really fun spring accessory. Okay, next up, can we say date ready? Not that your girl is dating, but if I were, I think this would be the perfect outfit for a spring date night. I love the color. First of all, this lavender is absolutely beautiful. Now, I am wearing this without any shapewear, so I wanted to show you guys what it would look like on the body without shapewear, just so you can have a true vision of the garment on. This dress is so fabulous. Now, I ordered this in a size 18. I will also suggest that you probably size down. It has a ton of stretch in it, and especially like under the arm, which is really weird because I never really have this issue, but I feel like it's a little long from the here to here. So maybe if you're, you have a longer torso, then ordering it true to size would be better. For me, I wish I had gotten this in a size 14 instead of the six. I actually ordered a black jumper from Eloqui last year. I want to say it was like January and it had the same cut. And I think it's such a sexy, like flirty way to show a little skin, but not have to be like completely naked. And that's exactly what this dress does for me. It would actually be a really cute, like wedding guest dress because it's not too much but at the same time it still could go very dressy paired with the right accessory and i love the length this comes right to about mid calf which is a great length this dress would pair really well with pumps or sandals and i know this is going to seem completely off topic but i would love to know what is your favorite shoe brand or like what store do you go to to find really cute shoes because i find myself buying the same pumps over and over again and i just want to change it up a little bit so i'd love if you guys give me some suggestions on what's your favorite shoe brand drop it down in the comments so this next look literally sends me into emerald green dreams okay i love this suit honey yes eloquy yes so eloquy always gives us a power suit every season so these are separate so you don't have to order both or you can order them as a complete ensemble like i did which i am not in any way regretting okay i love this suit it gives me like 70s glam and vests are very much on trend for 2020 the color is so rich they did these beautiful buttons and this belt is removable so you can choose to wear it with or without the belt again you know how i feel um, i think this one is really nice with the belt but i think it also looks amazing without the belt because of the buttons it is fitted perfectly i ordered it in size 16 in the top 18 in the bottom i could not have asked for a better fit on the vest i also paired this vest with those black leather shorts and that is a look i will pop a picture in here so you guys can see it has pocket flaps which are nice i prefer it tucked in i just think it's like a simpler more clean look but it's completely up to you it's absolutely beautiful i also think this vest would be really pretty just open you don't have to even button it it would be a really nice piece over a white I think it's definitely one of those pieces that you may think, oh, I can only wear it one way, but then once you get it home and you start playing with it, you can layer it with other things and you'll find like other ways to wear it. Okay. Getting into the pants. So the coordinating green pants, these are a wide leg, beautiful, 
absolutely gorgeous pair of pants. You could wear these alone, pair them with a really pretty white blouse and a nice statement necklace, and that is a full look. I love these. I did order them in a size 18. They fit perfectly. Again, I'm short, so I expect to have to hem wide leg pants all the time. So it's no surprise to me that these are a little bit longer. So either pairing them with a higher pair of heels or hemming them are kind of my option, but I'm okay with it because these are completely worth the cost to hem them, okay? Now that brings us to my favorite part of the video, which is where I get to hear from you. I know this was a long one, so you may have to rewind back to the front, but let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite look from this haul? And if you enjoyed this video, take the time right now and share it with a girlfriend. You can click the share button. And it'll give you all of these options. You can text it to them. You can forward the video or you could share it as a link. I appreciate your help in continuing to grow this channel. And once again, thank you to Eloquie for partnering with me on this massive haul. Guys, this was amazing that they sent me all of these pieces just to share with you. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Eloquie, for all of your support through the years. And most importantly, go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it. I love you guys. Be blessed.